We're back at the 2018 ECMAs. It's been 30 years, and I have, who I just talked about, Sloan, yeah. Chris Murphy, and Patrick's with us here as well. I, I never see you, Patrick. Nice to meet you. <laughs> um, so it's a big award this year, a big honor. And I wasn't even aware of this big honor before until tonight. And it's the Director's Special Award. Yeah. And it's for basically, if people don't know, it's for basically causing, it's causing, it's causing a big bang kind of in a national way, an international way within the music industry. Okay, sorry, what? It's like, it's like, it's like, you guys caused, yeah, for okay. what you've done nationally and internationally. Oh, okay. Yeah, so obviously, too, Sloan is one of the most beloved bands in Canada, I feel. Yeah, I think you're right. Yeah. So what do you, how do you feel about getting an award like that? What does it mean to you guys as a band? I mean, I suppose anything, any attention you get is nice to have. Um, we've sometimes shied away from when people have asked us if we want like a lifetime achievement award because, as you know, we just put a new record out and we will continue to, to make records or at least tour. <laughs> right. And uh, But no, it's always nice to, to have um, people give you a high five and a, an award and, you know. I'm glad that we're armed with a new record to sort of combat the idea that we've been put out to pasture. You know what I mean? Like it's yeah. like, is it? Yes, we we uh, feel complimented by the award, but you don't want to accept that someone said, you know, your best work is behind you or something. It's like thanks for everything you did. It's like well, actually, we're still doing it. So. Yeah. So the and fact you, that we have a new record takes the sting out of that. Yeah, and you guys have such a rich catalog, though. I mean, you could go out and people would still keep coming, but to have that new record, because you must be writing all the time. I mean, that's just a big part of being in a band, isn't yeah, it? Well, there's four of us who write, so, and we make a record maybe every two years, so there's a lot of, and, and we also have a backlog of songs that never got on record, so, yeah, we're, we're not, um, we don't have any shortage of, we could make about four more records. Yeah, at the rate we make records, we really only have to write like 1.5 songs per year, and we're all able to keep up. And we've encouraged everybody to write songs. So yeah, as Patrick says, we're we have a stockpile. Or if we even if we said even if we had none, it was like go now. You have to write three songs. I'm like it won't take that long. Right. It'll take a while. And what's the secret to you? <laughs> what's the secret of a band being together so long? Because, like you said, there's four writers. That must be four very strong characters. Um, what is the secret? Is it staying friends or just kind of all being it together like a gang, you know? Well, it's, it's, it's it, giving everyone a chance to write songs and giving everyone uh, a quarter of the money and, uh, and a chance to... It's like, yeah, well, I wrote a couple of hits, guys. You better write some hits because uh, I shared my money with you. Is there that kind of pressure? <laughs> Patrick? Patrick didn't say anything. Um, <laughs> Patrick doesn't like to say, but he has generated the most money for the band. Well, I've, ge I've generated maybe some, some publishing for the band, but we do other things. But, um, yeah, I think he's right. We're just sort of trying to split everything. And um, uh, Early in, the in our career, we kind of realized you can't, like, People are going to be themselves, and you just have to give people space to be themselves. Everybody has their personality. We all know who everybody is, and that doesn't work with everybody, you know, with every band. So, um, but also, once, sorry, once you start doing it and you're making money and you're traveling, whatever, you don't want to let it go. So it's it's not that easy to say, you know what, screw it. Like I've done this for 27 years. I'm gonna, I can't, or whatever, you know. Like, what would I do? What would I do with myself? There's a bit of that. Yeah. yeah. What do we now? Describe your skill set at this time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm in a rock band. I'm a rock star. <laughs> so when you guys started off, though, um, early 90s, right, and that whole, there was, I mean, rock was really important at that time. In the, in the States, obviously, and then Halifax became that cool pocket back then when you got signed, I think, Thrush Hermit and all the other cool bands. Um, what does it mean to be in a rock and roll band today? I think people live and die by their favorite bands a lot less now than they did at one time. And we are, you know, the way that you talked about the regionalism of the Seattle scene, the Halifax scene, you know, I guess Montreal got to sort of, even though, I was going to say that it's all kind of pre-internet, the sort of local, the Chapel Hill, the Athens, Georgia, and Montreal was kind of the last one I can think of, which was kind of like this scene that really blew up. Toronto had it, I guess, a bit with uh, 
broken social scene and Feist oh, yeah, and, yeah. and uh, these kinds of things. But Montreal with Arcade Fire and the stills and all that kind of stuff. But uh, I don't know what your question was, but... Uh, what does but, it mean to be in a rock band is, today? Yeah. yeah. Uh, it just seems like rock is, is, it, is it as important as it was? No. No, but it is to us. Right. Sorry, I keep... No, that's sure. There's different uh, genres of music that get more attention. That's just the way it is. It's not... I don't think there's any conspiracy, right, you know. Right. So. Yeah. Cool. Well, I'm going to go see you guys later. I'm really looking forward to that. Um, and if you guys haven't seen it, you can check them out later at the Marquee. Hopefully, the, if there's still tickets, I don't know. If you didn't... Sorry, you can't get in. <laughs> anyways, I appreciate it, guys. Congratulations Thank again on the honor. All right, have a great night. Bye, everybody. <laughs> <laughs> All right.